It is 640. I slept really well from 8 to like midnight last night. And then I had to get up to go to the bathroom and it got super windy. Now my tent is all mushed up like that. I don't know if I don't know how to put it up or if it's just how sill poly works, but uh, I don't want to stay out in the snow and the rain in that because I'm probably going to get wet. And uh, in summer that wouldn't be bad. Now, don't want to get wet. I don't know if the colors really come across on camera, but there's like a pink haze with a yellow and then like a blue on top of it. A little past Turk Gap parking, which is supposed to be like a semi-easy hike, but I did not want to take the side trail up there. I met a hiker at the road. I thought it was Pink Hot Dog, because I know he's somewhere in Shenandoah, but I don't know exactly where he is. Uh, probably will just miss him. But I was kind of glancing at him, and I was like, it looks really familiar, but. Turns out it's not him. It's a guy who's starting um, in April, and he warned me that it's supposed to be really cold this week. I'm like, yeah, I know. So, I think my current plan is to hike as far north as I can get, and then have someone come get me Thursday, like early evening, because it's supposed to be pretty chilly these next couple days. I'm hoping it warms up a little bit today. Maybe not that much, because it's really hot going uphill. And today there's like a big uphill again and then a bunch of puds after that. Um, I don't know if I'm going to get to the shelter because that's 10.8 away. There's a spot 10 miles away. It's supposed to have some nice campsites so I'm hoping to get there. When you're at a campsite and you're looking for a good spot to set up, I don't know if you can see it very well. This, where's the camera? This right here is a widow maker. I don't know if that size would kill you if it fell on you, but it's definitely gonna hurt. So this climb I'm working on is 1.6 miles. Roughly there's ups and downs. It's not like completely up. And I am about two miles in today. Just looked at the time, what time is it? 9.13. So, still pretty slow. Also, forgot to stretch last night at camp, so my hips hurt and my knee hurt. I meant to KT tape it before I left, but I forgot. So that might slow me down. And then, of course, the shelter is uphill the last, I think it's a little less than a mile, so. As long as it stays nice today, I could probably get to the 10 miles, but... If my hip gets any worse, if my knee gets any worse, that might be a little difficult. This is also a fairly nice path too. There's some rocks in it, but it's not like walking over rocks like Brooksylvania. Conquered the first long uphill. Now I got to go downhill. The only thing left is a bunch of pointless up and downs. This is one of the many road crossings, Skyline Drive. And this marker says that Black Rock Hut is 6.8 miles away. And then we're going to be going past Wildcat Ridge Trail, Rip Rap Trail, Black Rock Gap. Uh, Turk Gap is 1.9 back. Jarman Gap is 4.4 back. It is 11 now and I am 5 miles in. It's been harder and easier than I thought it would be. Potomac Appalachian Trail Club maintains them, but the trails are really nice because so many people go on them every year. But some of these climbs are just taking it out of me because 
my hips are really feeling it and my left knee is really feeling it and I forgot to put the KT tape back in my emergency kit so I can't even tape them out here so I'm just trying to take it a little slower than I did yesterday and if I get to a point where I'm like this is it I'm done I'm just gonna stop it doesn't matter what time it is I'll just be mad about it because I'm not gonna be able to finish hiking if I hurt my knee really bad it is almost one now I am going up the climb to the Rip Rap Trail it's point four to the top so I'm roughly halfway there and then the shelter is 3.6 miles away so Hopefully I can get there with enough time to set up and eat before it gets dark. It's supposed to be colder tonight. This is the turnoff for the Rip Rap Trail. Down that way. We're gonna keep going on the AT. Uh, Luff Mountain Campground is 9.5 miles away, but it's currently closed for the season. see the parking lot over there that's Black Rock Gap taking a break just a little inside the trail it's point seven up to the shelter there were a couple people headed up there I wonder if they're gonna stay there or if they're gonna push on it is 3 30 I am point four from the shelter turned off point six from the shelter itself uh, just slips going over a log I don't think I cut my leg open, but it definitely got scraped up and it does not feel good. Uh, my hip's still acting up. Hopefully I can get up there and stretch and it'll feel better. Take an Advil or an ibuprofen, whatever I have in my pack. Far out is being a problem. Looking for the shelter turn off. And when I zoom all the way in, ah, the map just goes away. If I zoom way out, it comes back, which isn't really helpful because I can't see the turnoff anyway. Finally found it. That was the longest point one ever. I think I'm gonna have to call my hike here because I am in so much pain. The last two miles of the shelter, I could barely, I could barely like lift up my leg. And I thought if I took an Advil when I got here and just chilled, it would be fine. But uh, this is a result of walking from the shelter back up here. I couldn't even walk up the hill. I had to walk backwards and even. And then I'm in so much pain. I took an extra Advil just to see if that would knock it off and it's not done it anything. I thought it was just like a little hurt like you know when you start out and things hurt because you're not used to it. But I've never cried because of how much something hurt. And I think I did. I guess 11 miles total because I had to walk down here, but this is not how I wanted to end it. I feel a little better now that I'm laying in my hammock. It's probably taking some of the pressure off the joint, but um, I decided to call it quits because I'm not going to be able to hike like this and I'm being really stupid because I probably pushed too hard and I didn't think I was because like I was physically tired, but... I didn't think it was going to hurt my hip like that. It might just be better if I wait until it's warmer and then try to do it again. Instead of trying to race the clock to finish. 
I did not sleep at all last night. The wind is insanely strong. I apparently don't know how to tie my tent or er, my tarp up so it doesn't fall down. It's definitely below freezing last night. I haven't been up yet, but when I got up briefly because I had to fix the tie lines that had come undone, my knee hurt a little bit, my hip hurt a little bit, so I'm hoping I can get out on my own, but we'll see. There's a shelter down there, there's a couple tent sites. That little markers. The exit is somewhere over there, so I'm gonna try and carefully pick a path that way. It's starting to climb up. I took three Advil, because that's all I had. The rest I had was a leave. And I can feel it trying to hurt through that. Luckily, this first point two is uphill, and then the rest is downhill. And it hurts a little less going downhill. And back up with the marker. The pain is broken through the Advil. But it's downhill from here, so hopefully that doesn't hurt as much. When I was coming up, I tripped over this. I guess I lost my balance and I scraped my leg against it. Uh, but not the leg that's hurt, it's the right leg. I'm gonna walk the road over to this uh, trailhead. I'm hoping that flat ground does not hurt my leg. Ooh. This was the longest 0.6 or whatever uphill yesterday and coming down it was much faster. I'm back at the trailhead now. Ouch. Flat ground kind of hurt, but kind of didn't hurt. I don't know how it decides whether it hurts or not. But now I just have to sit and wait. It's a little cold out, but it's not horrible yet. I did poke a hole in my glove. So, whoops.